What is up my beautiful rosebuds? Of course it's your favorite rosebud, Nisi K. And I am a coming a back with a back back with another one. Back with a back back with another one. Hey, hey. Yay! <laughs> guys, don't mind me. I'm very silly. But I am back with another a gossip video for you guys. But before we do get into that video, I do want to go ahead and ask you guys to hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Go ahead and click the notification bell so that when I do upload many more videos, you guys can either hear my beautiful voice or see my lovely face across your screen. Sharing is caring as well as follow your girl on all social media. It is under GossipBud87 and it's free 99. So it's not hurting you to follow your girl. It's not hurting you. It's not. What you waiting for? Go ahead and click the follow button. Anyway guys, so I have not come with any windy Kevin Hunter or Kevin Hunter Jr. news in a while and I am coming with a video for you guys so Wendy out here been dipping and doing it y'all she out here literally living her best life she is not stunting um that marriage with Kevin Hunter anymore like granted like of course she still loves him and you know it's a whole process because they are just they're not even divorced yet they're still going through the proceedings but you know she's pretty much like she's moving on and that's that right so it's been noticed how Wendy had been seen with this new boo thing, right? It was assumed this new boo thing might have been her son when she was talking to TMZ, but you know, she had to shut that down and correct that real quick. Like, uh, what? Uh-uh. No, we ain't going there. But after that little encounter, people started noticing that she was with this dude and she was blowing racks on this dude and all types of stuff, right? Then we end up finding out about the dude that he is a 27 year old by the name of Mark Tyrone Tomlin. He is also a felon. So he has been to prison before, right? Now, of course, I just told you he's 27. Wendy is 54. So there's like a little over 20 year age difference between her and this new dude. But you do you, boo. You do you. Your husband was out here with some 20 some year old when he was like, what, in his late 30s, early 40s or something like that? Because ain't that girl like, I think she's around my, a little bit around my age. She's a little older than me. I'm 31. And he's in his late 40s. So, I mean, I mean, it ain't 20 year difference. But hey. You do you, boo. You do you. He's still legal. He legal. <laughs> Anyways, so pretty much people were trying to, you know, tell Wendy, hey, you were dating this guy. He is a felon. He and pretty much, you know, worried about it because they're like, this dude could be using you. So she responded, but while she was responding, she kind of took a jab or two at Kevin Hunter. Um, so Kevin Hunter, I guess, felt some kind of way about the fact that uh, Wendy Williams is trying to throw him under the bus. Um, <laughs> Wendy Williams getting them <laughs> cankles <laughs> knocked loose by this young man so she ain't trying to let that go so she's like y'all get off my dick <laughs> anyways but pretty much um kevin hunter is not feeling the fact that wendy pretty much was trying to say that when she was with kevin hunter that like pretty much he kept her cooped up in the house and that she didn't get to live her life and so she out here living and she out here being herself and kevin hunter was pretty much like no wendy was just lazy she didn't try she would rather um go and uh be at home after she did the show so he's saying he didn't keep her cooped up in the house and that she pretty much lying because anything anytime you saw wendy outside it was regarding an appearance for the show now he does come out and say that he's not jealous even though for me there was reports where he was coming out trying to make things work and wanting wendy back so i feel like there's some jealousy because you got to kind of think about it especially watching wendy blow racks on this dude like you ain't getting that money you ain't getting that money at all. 
So, I mean, I honestly feel like he might be jealous because now there's new dude who will be taking his place. Um, well, at least for now, Wendy having fun. Now, um, things also get a little bit interesting because remember how there was that whole little situation between Kevin Hunter Jr. and Kevin Hunter Sr. where Kevin Hunter Jr. was actually arrested, right? Now, there's some information that has actually come out about that whole situation and what actually came out is Wendy also called the cops herself right uh, trying to get the police to go back out there to get a report um, pretty much wanting uh, Kevin Hunter jr. to uh, put in a report against his father for attacking him now um, mind you Kevin Hunter senior is saying that he didn't put hands on him and it seems to have made the situation a little bit worse because the police even stated when they showed up uh, Kevin Hunter senior you know you could tell that he had he was bleeding from the nose and stuff like that now granted allegedly he got socked in the nose because he put Kevin Hunter Jr. in a headlock. Now, here's where things get also a little bit interesting. Allegedly, this whole altercation started where he allegedly put his son in a headlock because his son called him a bitch when they were discussing this whole Wendy Williams um, situation, right? Now, mind you, I can't sit here like that's his son's opinion. That's his son's opinion. But I mean, I've always been the type that you're supposed to respect your elders, but I'm also the type that respect is earned. So, like, I'll respect you, but if as soon as you disrespect me, we got an issue. So maybe that was the situation when it came to him. I don't know. But pretty much he out here like dealing with I think he has to did he go to court already? I think he just had a court appearance about this whole situation with his dad his dad has said that he's not gonna press charges on him which I mean I completely understand that your son you don't want to you don't want to sit there especially over something like this now again remember Kevin Hunter and of course I've done videos about this whole thing you guys know I've done videos about this so I will add the uh, cards into this video so you guys can go check those videos out too you know if you, if you subscribed if you did subscribe you you should go check your girl out <laughs> but anyways guys so he's pretty much saying that he's not gonna press charges so we'll see how this goes because you know there's situations where the state can actually pick up uh, a case even if the victim doesn't want to press charges now I can't say that he's a, a victim per se because I wasn't there so I don't know if he really did put uh, Kevin Hunter jr. in a headlock he could have put jr. in a headlock and that's the thing is if you put him in a headlock you're not gonna unless he was like choking him out you're not gonna see no bruises there compared to somebody punching you in your nose and your nose uh pretty much like all over the like blood all over the place like you, you it's it's a different situation i don't know but anyways i digress uh wendy is out here living her best life her son is out here dealing with the situation between what happened with him and his dad now wendy tried to in some kind of way insert herself in the situation which i can't fault wendy because that's her son that's her only child so when you find out that allegedly the father put hands on him for no reason you're probably gonna be sitting here mad i mean me personally like i i mean but you know i'm just gonna be real with you i don't fuck with the police so <laughs> there would have been no way i'm calling the police in this particular situation like if you put hands on my son me and you probably gonna fight and <laughs> you probably gonna have to deal with my entire family after that but like i'm not gonna call the police that's just never been my motto but wendy did and so you know in this particular situation her son actually uh you know went to jail it wasn't the other way around like she was trying to um get kevin hunter senior uh, to be in some form of trouble but it was actually her son so it backfired on her really ultimately in this particular situation i feel like she should have her i mean let's be real her son's 18 years old like honestly like this probably should have been something that like he handled on his own with his father because at the end of the day this is his father not just some random dude or anything like that that's his father but she can be intervened and it could have possibly been the reason that he went to jail when in fact he was actually because allegedly there is a it came out that there was a record a, you know the um 911 call where Wendy is even sitting here talking about how her son was trying to leave in an Uber, but she told him to go back. 
So he could have left and I've been arrested, but Wendy told him to go back. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So like I said, it seems like things kind of um backfired on that aspect. And I'm kinda like, Wendy, come on, you 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 should have left this as a family matter. You shouldn't have even tried to involve the laws in this situation. But it is what it is. So like I'm just mm. <laughs> honestly this is the first time i haven't really had like major thoughts on the situation well personally um if you want my opinion i do feel like um kevin hunter realizes that he messed up and he realized that um he's losing out allegedly allegedly um he's not happy over there with uh serena i mean serena got what she wanted she wanted him to be her all hers and she didn't want to have to worry about wendy no more but uh he's not happy with it especially if you think about everything he lost because everybody's like oh he's he can get all this money from wendy oh he can get all this money from wendy or whatever right i mean but even if he does get money from wendy like i've even sat here and mentioned in prior videos like he like especially because she you know he's no longer executive producer he has nothing to do with that show if that show goes further on that's more money in her pocket that he can't even touch he can't touch it he can't touch it and he's trying to get like you know spousal support uh and child support and pretty much trying to get the spousal support like forever trying to say he deserves to live the lifestyle that he's living but you got to also kind of think about it um i don't know if that's going to work in his favor since he was so careless and so messy that he can't deny that he actually had an 11 year affair now unless he can show where wendy was okay with the affair um that's one thing but even with showing that's okay when another child when a child was produced in the situation that's probably like one of the things where wendy was like I'm, like because wendy even said herself um she would leave if uh, there was a child that was created out of the affair so i mean there was a child created so i don't know we just got to see how everything goes down in this particular situation but right now wendy's living her best life i feel like she needs that like me personally i don't know if she really needs this younger man per se i'm not saying that she needs to be cooped up in the house like crying over kevin hunter neither but i'm saying she needs to go through the process she needs to process her emotions she needs to learn to accept it and deal with it because right now this dude might be something that's taking her mind off the situation he's a temporary fix for a bigger problem because once he's no longer there them thoughts them feelings the things that you're trying to sit here and not deal with will come back so i feel like she needs to deal with herself before she even tries to be in a new relationship now if she's just talking to this dude just for fun like, oh this is just a fun thing to do like i'm 54 i'm old like i mean even though 54 is not old to me per se but it's like you know compared to what she used to be like i mean she's pretty much spent a majority of her younger years with kevin hunter so she's out here like i'm i'm needing to try to i'm stepping back out into the game i'm i'm freshly into this i want to have fun and so she getting them cankles not loose <laughs> she getting them cankles knocked loose and she is trying to hold on for dear life but i am gonna go ahead and i'm in this video guys go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and subscribe to your girl it's free 99 to follow me so all social media is gossip 87 you guys should check me out and until the oh wait first hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because i do want you guys to be alerted when i do upload more videos now until the next video guys bye <laughs>